Multnomah County now has a wood burning restriction in place because of poor air quality. This went into effect at noon today. The county says it'll remain in effect until weather conditions improve and pollutants leave the area. Wreck fires and backyard burning are not allowed, and that does include fireplaces and wood stoves. And let's talk to uh, our meteorologist Josh Cozart mm -hmm. here a little bit more about that air quality. Yeah. What's that looking like at this time? Well, this burn ban is really probably going to be staying in effect all the way through the end of the week until we start to see improvements sure. with our weather. And that also helping to cause a lot of foggy conditions. Yeah, this morning. Uh, yeah, a lot Very of folks foggy. fighting through that low visibility, but it was a pretty shot above that layer of fog. This is a look out over Portland from earlier this morning. And this all coincides with the colder temperatures that are near the surface known as a temperature inversion. So cold air, it likes to settle its way down to the lower elevations. But when the warm air starts to build on top of that, that's what's trapping all of the smoke, the haze, the pollutants from vehicles. So that's why we all need to play our part and reduce what we are putting into the atmosphere as very little mixture in the atmosphere is anticipated. You can even see it here, that kind of almost brown haze that's along the horizon. That is the temperature inversion at work. Work. As our temperatures near the surface are hovering right around 50 degrees and we are enjoying that sunshine, which sometimes helps to speed up that inversion as air quality now falls back into the moderate levels for much of the I-5 corridor. That's likely going to decrease as we move our way into the colder temperatures tonight. So if you are sensitive to the less than ideal air quality, doing extreme activity outdoors is probably not the best idea to be doing for much of this week. As an air stagnation advisory is taking us all the way through about four o'clock in the morning on Friday. Then we start to get a bit more of an easterly breeze impact and that's going to help to kind of mix back up our atmosphere and put the warmer air near the surface and the cooler air up top and that's going to keep that flow going as the fog layer still is holding tight to the central and southern Willamette Valley slowly starting to break down as we move our way through the rest of this evening as temperatures are on the cooler side. Look at Corvallis only 43 right now low to mid 50s found for the Portland Vancouver area and just the same for the coastline as those chillier temperatures start to work their way back into our area later this evening. Maybe you could be like Lily and Max and just cozy up next to not a wood burning stove, but nonetheless, we are expected to see those chilly temperatures work their way back into our area as a dense fog advisory goes back into place for the I-5 corridor and some of the lower lying elevations of the shoreline as well. Use those low beams that gets underway as early as 10 o'clock tonight. So shortly after sunset, I do anticipate that fog layer to race its way back into our area. Visibility dropping back to about a quarter of a mile for much of the I-5 quarter, just about the same for parts of the coastline. That's where we do see improvements by the middle part of the day tomorrow, although it's going to be a slow mix out of that fog layer, all in part to high pressure, stopping any new weather systems from working their way back into our area. That's also giving us the afternoon sunshine and those mild temperatures that are really going to start to make it feel like the spring season well above our average of about 47 degrees for this time of year. The peak of the heat that arrives Thursday and Friday as those temperatures get back into the mid 50s. Then we start to pick up on those easterly winds and that's going to help to cool things back into the upper 40s. But over the next 10 to almost 15 days, really, we're not anticipating anything in the form of active weather. The biggest threat, it's going to be that patchy fog that starts to develop tonight into the start of the day tomorrow. By the afternoon and evening hours, we enjoy that sunshine for another layer of fog. You catching on to the trend that we're picking up on here? That's going to be taking us well through the end of the week. But at least we get to enjoy that afternoon sunshine, making for picture-perfect ski and snowboard conditions as our snow base layer has stabilized for the most part, maybe losing about an inch or two every single day as the number of snow-free days and warmer-than-average temperatures continue to build. We're holding on to a snow deficit out towards Timberline Lodge with about 55 inches. Now, tonight we fall back to about 37 degrees. That fog starting to increase across our area as early as sunset. Then those temperatures, thanks to a slow mixing out of the fog layer, is the low to mid 50s for us. More sunshine out towards the east with some pretty comfortable temperatures as well. With our seven day forecast showing foggy mornings Wednesday and Thursday, the winds pick up anywhere from 15 to 20 miles per hour on Friday. Still holding on to those mid 50s, well above the average of 47 and a lot of sunshine in store for our weekend as we stabilize our temperatures into the mid 50s before a few more clouds get in the mix one more week from today. All right, Josh, looks good. Thank you. Yeah, we'll be right back.